Greetings, Goddess Body, Mind, Spirit community. This is Omilade, your Goddess Guru, here to share a word of inspiration on your path to self-realization and self-mastery. I'm excited to make this video outside. Um, I am in Middle Tennessee, Rutherford County portion of Percy Priest Lake. See that behind? Uh, I think it's a good thing. I like the lakes, although the majority of the lakes in Tennessee are man-made. It's okay. <laughs> They're gorgeous. This, this Percy Priest Lake is huge. Anyway, um, so excited to be feeling the winds of change of the goddess Oya blowing across my senses across this park. Oya is in full effect. Her winds of change are here to remind us to let all the things that hold us back from living to our highest potential, just let it go. Don't, we're not holding on to any of it. We're just gonna let it all go. We don't need it. Um, the more we let go, the more likely we will realize there's just so many good things out there waiting for us. So let's not hold on to that, which we do not need. Um, this week, the energies that are speaking are the energies of the ancestor Sheps. Egon is another word we can use, as well as the energy of Geb, which is the energy of the earth. So this is a time for us to really work with our ancestors in many um, African traditional spiritual systems, just indigenous um, spiritual traditions in general. Ancestors are revered. Um, it is known that ancestors pass on to the non-physical realm or go back to the non-physical realm and in fact assist us, those of us that are in the physical realm. I tell people all of the time, we have so much help, non-physical help out there that uh, it behooves us to connect with these energies and allow them to assist us. If you don't believe it, just give it a try. You all know I'm into being a spiritual scientist. And so I don't just believe me. Try it out. If you try it out, let's see. You yeah, know, it's on you. I'm not going to say it's definitely going to work, but it works for me. <laughs> and someone else told me it worked for them. So the ancestors are real. They are not just somewhere off in the ether worlds lying asleep. I remember... You know, someone told me after my mother passed, oh, she's somewhere asleep. I remember just feeling like I was getting visits from my mom. Um, it was like I could smell her scent. And in, the, in that smell, I could feel her presence so strong. And of course, I wanted it so badly because I missed her. You know, she had been, had passed on, you know, not long, just a number of weeks. I'm just, I was just really torn up about it. And she said, oh, no, that's not your mom. No, uh, your mom's somewhere asleep. <laughs> well, I talked to another lady, um, an African traditional priestess, and she said, oh, no, your mother, and her name is Ia Olaomi. She is thebomb.com. <laughs> if you know Ia Olaomi, she is just amazing. Um, but she said to me, I mean, I was just in a really dark place. I felt horrible. I miss my mom so much. Your mother is not somewhere gone far away. Your mother is right here with you. Your mother walks with you. And it brought me so much peace. And I've always felt that way. You know, um, there have been times when I would say, um, you know, I'm just missing my mother so badly. And I would say to her, Mama, come to me in my sleep. I need to see you. And sure enough, I would dream about my mom that night. And it literally feels like when I dream about my mom, I've actually seen her and spent time with her. Um, and people can explain all of this away and that's fine. Um, but there are other times when I talk to my ancestors and I'm sharing my experiences with you to give you an idea of how some of us work with our ancestors. Um, there are times when I'll say to my ancestors, I need assistance with something. I need, I need this to be worked out for me. And it works out. Uh, the ancestors 
are akin in my book to our guardian angels. Um, and you get more from your ancestors when you connect with them, when you talk to them, when you seek to communicate with them, you get more from them when you do that. Because on some level, the ancestors are not going to trump your will. They're not going to help you to the point where they are interfering with your right to choose whatever you want in your life. But the more you call on your ancestors, the more you talk to them, the more you connect with them. Create special rituals to um, strengthen your connection with them. You will find that, you know, the, the help is just ever present. They will be a lamp unto your feet when you feel like you don't know which way to go. Your ancestors will show you the way. When we talk about Sheps, which is the ancestors, um, it, it's a time to connect with the ancestors, but it's also a time to learn from the ancestors. And so we have our bloodline ancestors. If you're adopted, you know, you have those ancestors of the family that you adopted into. I have nieces and nephews who are adopted into my family and I call my ancestors to assist them. But at any given moment, if they want to call their bloodline ancestors of light, because we don't want the dark ones, <laughs> then um, they, they, you know, it's, they are free to do that. And so are you if you are adopted. You still can work with both sets of ancestors. I say go for it. Um, and so it, we have our bloodline ancestors, but then we have those ancestors who sort of belong to the world. These are the ancestors who um, have made a significant con contribution or we have studied their lives. So for me, um, different cultures, ancient cultures out of Africa, I like to study those ancestors and the, the, their lifestyle, their practices, um, because the ancestors have lived here. They know what it's like. The ones that came before us, on some level, they are more evolved than we are in modern days um, because of their connection to nature, you know. And that Geb is saying that we need to be more outside. We need to be connected to nature more. We need to, um, we, we need, we, because what happens when we connect with nature is we get reattuned we get reset and it's usually for the better when we make the choice to come outside, spend more time outside. It makes us more of who we really are. It can heal our bodies. Connecting to the elements of the earth um, helps you to know more about yourself. As a human, as human beings, who are we without? <laughs> who are we without the earth and all that the earth um, has, uh, you will learn your greatness as well as how minuscule you are when you really connect with the earth. It keeps you in harmony with yourself. It keeps you in harmony with this place that we live. It keeps you in harmony with other people. And so our ancestors were very connected. It also helps to heighten your intuition and they had a heightened sense of int intuition it's part of why they are so creative or were so creative. Um, their character is something that we can learn from. Now, we can learn the good and the bad. But this week, we're being told that if you need guidance and direction in your life, it would be good to study your ancestors of light in your family, in your bloodline, and to see what was their legacy of goodness. And where do you pick up from that legacy? How can you learn from that legacy? From the ancestors that sort of belong to the world, it's good for us to maybe watch some historical documentaries and find out who were these people? What made them great? What was their contribution? Is there something I'm supposed to do to help keep their legacy going? And so, you know, it's also about when we work with our ancestors, helping our ancestors in their non-physical form to ascend in their spiritual development and evolution. But it's also, it also behooves us 
it behooves us to study these ancestors of light so that we too become ancestors of light. Because there's a dark deceased and they get stuck. We don't want to be dark deceased. <laughs> dark deceased have their place. You know, you just tell them to leave. If they're hanging around, you don't be acting scared of dark deceased. I get so tired of that. We're not afraid of these dark energies. We tell them to get away. You call on the warriors, Eshu, Ogun, Ochozi, Osun, or whatever name you want to call the warrior energies, and tell them, help me, protect me, keep me away from these energies that I don't necessarily feel, but I might sense. We're not going to be running scared of dark deceased and dark energies. But these ancestors of light, they, you know, I tell people all the time, maybe, just maybe the elders do know something. Maybe the ancients do know something. So this is also a time, going back to Gab, where we have to focus on our health. Um, everything should be working in our favor at this point. If you don't have something working in your favor, it should be easy to turn around if you make the choice. You know, we live by choice. We have to make decisions to walk um, in a certain manner, to have a certain attitude. And so, um, you know, it, 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 your health should be going well for you. If not, things should turn around if you do the right thing. We just can't live any old kind of way and expect the best results. You're going to get any old kind of results, all right? So this is a time to focus on your physical health and to, you know, make the changes for the better. If you are doing well, keep doing what you are doing. If you need to go get a health checkup, go get one, okay? If you need to go see your chiropractor, go see your chiropractor. If you need a massage, go see your massage therapist. If you need to go get your feet worked on, go get your feet worked on. If you know for a fact your diabetes is out of control, you need to do something about that. I do not understand why people know they have health conditions and they don't go get them checked. Oh, I'm scared. They're going to give me bad news. Well, guess what? The bad news might be worse if you don't go ahead and knock this thing out, you know? Well, 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 we want to, we might end up at stage one, but if we sit around and wait, we're going to end up at stage three, whatever stage, you know, whatever the sickness is, you know what I mean? It just gets worse. When was the last time you went and saw your dentist? Well, you know, go get your teeth checked. Oral health is imperative to the health of our entire being. And all this sounds simplistic, but baby, have some, have some mouth issues. Have some mouth issues and you will be like, oh, where is the dentist? My thing is, stop it from happening in the first place. You know? Um, eat foods that have the vibration of health that you want to vibrate at, that, where you want to be. And so, you know, I, I'm trying to avoid good food and bad food, even though I will use those terms at times. It's probably better to talk about the vibration of food. Of course, the more raw the food is, as long as you don't have a condition that prevents you from eating raw, because not everybody can eat all raw foods. Um, but the closer that food is to nature, non-processed, it's going to be at a higher vibration than foods that are processed. And so if you want to be vibrating at a higher level in your health, then you want to choose foods that are vibrationally high because our energy in our body is going to conform to the energy in the food. So don't beat yourself up if you're eating food that gives you the emotional fix, but you know vibrationally that food is not good for you. Uh, excuse me. Vibrationally, that food is not really where you want to be. Just make a new choice, okay? Um, exercise. I'm really big on exercising. Uh, I love to exercise. I always have. It's just who and what I am. Not everyone loves to exercise, but exercise isn't always about going to a group fitness class. Um, sometimes it's about um, getting active, getting out, working in your yard, going on walks. Um, it's, it's being active. It's making sure you're not on the couch too much. Come on. Oh, sorry. I'm out with my little boy. Here comes a truck with a boat. My little boy's over there fishing. I'm trying to give him heads up. So he needs to move. Being a mom and making a video at the same time. We're homeschoolers. And he is out 
Kamali, watch for the boat. It's coming back. Excuse me. Kamau! The boat! I'm sorry. He says he's got it under control. Anyway, um, so we want to focus on our health, um, exercising. I do teach fitness classes. Uh, I am one who um, does workout videos at home. And uh, so I'm going to have to end this video because these people are talking to my child. But anyway, y'all look. Take care of your health. Get to know your good. Love y'all. Peace.